the Forts Official Tournament 19 Co-op Hermanos TM versus Donka Merkel. Welcome back, Forts fans, to game number seven of the Forts Official Tournament 19 replay commentaries here on Synergy Gaming TV. Now, for the first time this tournament, we actually have two bases for two players and two cores. So a very standard map. Uh, I will make a speculation that I expect the lesser experienced players to basically play this as each one having their own base, where you'll see the more experienced players will probably have one base kind of for... Um, Economy and technology the other one might could be weapons things like that But I definitely you will see the more experienced players playing in both bases where the lesser experienced players will definitely be kind of sticking to their own bases But let's introduce our teams on the left hand side team number one playing scattershot for the first time this tournament It is Hermanos TM uh, Hopefully I said that right it could be Hermanos or Hermanos Let me know in the comments down below where I'm putting the emphasis on the syllable and if I'm getting that right this does feature Ryzon and Smithereens. Their opponent, we've already seen one time before, playing Pinch Fist. It is Team Donka Merkel. Again, in English, that is Thank You Merkel. So, let's see what these guys are deciding to do here. We got... Uh, awesome. Things we've talked about lots in stream, you guys. We have uh, trying to protect the base with background bracing. We've got two by threes, three by threes, three by threes, everything wrong um, in, <laughs> in base building. Uh, for those of you guys that are new to the channel and you haven't seen this, we do have some tutorial videos. Seven Golden Rules is the beginning one here, which teaches a little bit about this kind of stuff uh, and how they affect your base. So make sure if you guys haven't checked that out, hit that subscribe button and go check out the tutorials playlist. We can help you uh, a lot get a good uh, edge here at the beginning. Let's see what these guys are doing. So we've got some factory technology coming in here. No double bracing. Turbines are down below here with lots of background bracing everywhere. Uh, not very good at protecting against. We've got a sniper shot coming from Team Donka Merkel. Uh, we're adding in some gunners here in the front. Exposed, even though there's a minigun on the field. Uh, double swarms coming out of uh, one of those players. Team Donka Merkel. And we got some 3x3s here as well, so no adapter plate fitting in here. And gunners, which will not be finished in time and will most likely be taken out by the snipers. Yes, and you can see here there's a misclick trying to protect the bottom of their base with background bracing. Uh, oh, interesting shot there. We'll have a slow-mo on that one. Sniper shot actually hit the metal here and bounced downwards to kill the gunner. Um, again, still seeing the open bracing here. Nothing's been filled in. No cross bracing. Um... Let me know what you guys think about having qualifiers for these tournaments. Now, I know the developers just put these on for fun. Uh, but I know you guys like to see top tier players. Let me know what you guys think. Should there be qualifiers for their official tournaments? Should they have community tournaments that are fun? And, and uh, I don't know why those resources are there in the middle. Community tournaments that are fun and then maybe the official tournaments being a little more professional. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I don't have an opinion here. I'm simply... Just commentating, but let me know in the comments down below what you guys think if there should be qualifiers for the tournaments If you guys want to see some more top tier play uh, Or you just like the fun uh, We've still got technology here nothing being built here um, The turbines all the energy production is being built here. They're adding more shields, which we know are susceptible to swarms Shields and swarms are not good that uh, is is not the right play. You want sandbags not shields um, Interesting here miniguns coming in and taking out all the gunners that were there on team number one, Hermanos. Uh, some extra gunners being put down here, but again, that's not the right answer. You need a sniper to take out the mini gunners, and you want uh, angled metal to deflect against the mini gun shots. You can use sandbags, however, there is a multiplier that the mini gunners have against the sandbags, but they are cheap and easy to replace and don't require any metal. Great shot down below there, taking out a mine and blowing out the bottom of the base. Uh, the bottom of the bottom base, that's hard to commentate when you're doing a cooperative because it's not just one guy's base. Uh, Hermano's bottom base here has been taken out completely. Uh, they don't even have a weapon down yet. Energy production is at a minimum because they've got a piece of wood here. Shield there for no reason at all. Um, I'm very unfamiliar with what Team 1 is doing here. Uh, the miniguns being 
Uh, uh, words, English hards. There goes the bottom core. There, taken down. Looking like Donka Merkel has got absolute map dominance here. Still trying to protect their whole base with background bracing, um, which is not the right answer. You want to angle your metal, uh, is what you want to do. Um, but we were kind of correct here. We did see these uh, the lesser experienced teams playing like each base individually, uh, where the the top teams. I think these guys are doing very similar to that, um, but they're just more efficient at it. You can see lots of mini gunners here, uh, which are taking out everything. Finally, we got some foreground bracing here that's going to help block against those. Um, rise on. There we go. We got a plasma in. Finally, I didn't even see that getting built there. We'll put uh, we'll put one of those little pop up thing majiggers here because I think that I mentioned they had no weapons. I didn't see that there. I thought maybe it was a battery, um, but that's up there. We're starting to see some bracing. Finally, we're getting some bracing in here. Unfortunately, though, there's no energy production uh, to fire this weapon again. Still having background bracing in front of the core. Uh, and Warhead Swarm's coming in here. Taking out some damage. Buzzsaw is going to finish it off. And that will be GG for Team Hermanos. Uh, absolutely dominated here by Donka Merkel. Uh, I gotta be honest with you guys, though, as, as, as sad as it is to see newer teams getting absolutely crushed by the pros, it is a fantastic opportunity for them to get into tournaments, get that tournament experience, play against some of the best players. Uh, I'm sure, even though these guys are, are very clearly brand new to the game, I bet you they're just loving every moment of being in a tournament, and I think that's a fantastic experience for them to be able to, uh, to have. So, uh, big shout out to... Uh, uh, Hermanos for registering up for a, an official tournament knowing what you were going to be up against. Very good to see there. Uh, I like that. Um, very good. Very, very good. Uh, guys, that was Team Hermanos TM versus Don Merkel. Scattershot versus Pinchfest.